The Pokemon anime is not slowing down for anything. Even as we approach the end of Ash's journey, we've gotten a brand new special that teases us over a long-running mystery. Does it hold clues to one of this anime's best-kept secrets? It's time for the latest news out of Japan. Pokemon continues moving rapidly towards its final act and Ash's retirement as a protagonist. Its most recent airing was a special, Harukanaru Aoi Sora, roughly translated as Distant Blue Sky. While this special is technically outside the regular show continuity, following the alternate timeline established by movies 20, 21, and 23, the timing seems calculated. This is the end of the original Ash's journey, and we just happen to get a story that touches on one of the anime's greatest mysteries, Ash's long-absent father. This has been something fans have speculated about ever since the beginning of the show. There's no real canonical information about the mysterious man's identity. A few artist commentaries have suggested that Ash's dad is on his own journey to become a Pokemon master, but they also told us we'd see more information come Season 5. There have been a wide number of options proposed. Professor Oak, Lance, even Giovanni, who has some suggestive dialogue with Delia Ketchum in the stage show Pokemon Live. But now the anime has gotten to it. At the start of the Distant Blue Sky special, Ash is called back to Pallet Town by his mom, who notes that his dad is there to see him. And Ash is visibly thrilled at the chance to meet his old man. This is only the fifth time the subject of Ash's father has been brought up over the entire run of the show. Of course, by the time Ash gets back, his father has already had to leave due to mysterious emergency business. Even at this late date, the anime isn't going to make a reveal like that so easy. However, Ash's dad leaves a gift for his son before departing, a copy of Ash's iconic original hat. This is a surprisingly intriguing point. Ash's first hat is not just pure fashion. It was originally a specially limited edition item from the Pokemon League Expo. This was even a plot point, driving Ash to reclaim his hat from Mankey in that episode because it wouldn't be easy to replace. The Blue Sky special directly calls back to this, with Ash retrieving his new friend Haruto's cap from an errant Mankey. He trades his own cap for it, adding more meaning to his father's gesture of support. The writers clearly remember that episode. Ash mentions having gone through this before. As such, Ash's dad being able to source rare collector's items style headgear is suggestive. Even a super fan like Ash couldn't easily buy a replacement. Either he's someone with a direct connection to the Pokemon League, or he's got money to burn on picking up a rare item secondhand. Perhaps both, such as a former gym leader with ties to organized crime, for example. You could even see a far bleaker option, with Delia as a single mother who wants her son to believe his father is out there and cares about him. Regardless, it's nice to see Ash get his old hat back at the end of his run. There's some serious warmth in seeing Ash sporting his original look one last time. And throughout this last final of our friend's Pokemon journey, we'll be sure to keep you up to date with all the latest news out of Japan.